NFLFootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down the matchup between the Dolphins and the Eagles. Now let's look at Philadelphia's keys to victory to see what they can do to win a ball game on a road. I look at the Philadelphia Eagles offense and I like what I see as far as the speed is concerned and you're going to need that speed to combat the speed of the Miami Dolphins defense and that's where the Eagles have the advantage. The Eagles have two quarterbacks. We don't know which one is going to start the ball game, whether it be Michael Vick or Vince Young, but both guys have the ability to escape pressure and that's what causes a lot of stress for a defensive coordinator. And so when you have that type of speed back there at the quarterback position, you also have the speed on the flanks. And you also have the speed in the backfield with a Sean McCoy. That is how you combat a 3-4 defense by staying in spread formations and operating out of uh, those 3 by one sets or four wide receiver sets. And I think the Eagles are going to do a great job of that this week against Miami. When you have plays like this, these quick tosses, although that sprint draw, weak side sprint draw that they like to run, you have an explosive back in McCoy. You can put a lot of pressure on that defense to make sure they play contained. And I think that's where the Eagles can take advantage of an over-aggressive Miami Dolphins defense. Now you look at the defense side of the football for Philadelphia. They have to come in and make sure they do a great job of disrupting timing for Matt Moore. Matt Moore is a rhythm quarterback. If he gets in the groove, he can have some success. But the Eagles can't allow things like this to happen to where they give up on plays or not doing a great job with run fits because quiet has kept Reggie Bush is having a solid year. So the Eagles have to come in and make sure they make Miami one-dimensional. I will take my chances with the passing game. So you have to make sure you stop Reggie Bush and Daniel Thomas out there in the backfield. Let's look at Miami and see what the offense can do to attack the Philadelphia Eagles defense. The Dolphins offense is one that has a lot of different layers to it. And one thing that's important about what they do on offense is that they make you cover every blade of grass. And right there, that guy right there, Brandon Marshall, this guy, Reggie Bush, both guys are having solid seasons. And it's because of Reggie Bush in the running game, it keeps that Dolphins offense on pace. Now, when attacking the Philadelphia Eagles defense, they can do more of this. They can run downhill. They can run in between the tackles with they're big offensive linemen because the Eagles right now don't have the bulk up front in the middle and the linebackers are wait and see type linebackers, peekaboo linebackers. They're not aggressive in their run fits or in gap control. Now, as far as throwing the football, what they can do to effectively take advantage of an Eagles secondary, they have to attack the short to intermediate game. You want the Eagles corners to step up and make tackles. I haven't seen them guys step up, make tackles consistently this year as opposed to last year. So that's what the Dolphins have an opportunity to take shots downfield in the passing game. Now you look at the defense side of the football, when you're playing the Eagles, it's all about gap control and all about playing discipline. You want to keep everything bottled up tackle to tackle, and that's how you take away their sprint draw running game and keep Michael Vick or Vince Young in the pocket. If the Dolphins can do so, they can have some chances to make some plays on some tip pass or interceptions. Now let's take a look at the X factors in this ball game, both offensively and defensively, to see which players or player has an effect on the outcome in this ball game. X factor for the Eagles has to be pass protection. If they could protect Michael Vick or Vince Young, that goes a long way in making this offense continue to be explosive. Now you look at the Dolphins X factor, it has to be defensive content because you don't want this to happen to you when you're playing Vick or Vince Young. Otherwise, it could be a long day for that defense. I'm going with the Dolphins in this game. Right now, the Dolphins are playing just about as well as anyone in the league. Defensively, they're getting at the quarterbacks. They're getting teams off the field on third downs. And offensively, they're well-balanced. And that can prove to be a huge issue for the Philadelphia Eagles. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.